Hey, Study Sync teachers, this is Catlin with a quick tutorial to show you how to take the building background activity in a first read lesson plan to create an online collaborative task or project that students can work on remotely together. So if I click into our unit, and select the instructional path, we are focused on the text in the time of butterflies. And if I click into that lesson plan and scroll down to the introduction section, you'll see an activity titled Build Background. The whole point of the building background activity is to give students a chance to research and find out more about the historical time period that an excerpt, short story, or a speech is taking place in. So here, StudySync has already identified three different topics students can research to learn more about this text. So this particular strategy combines StudySync with Google Slides. So if I open up a Google Slide Deck, I have the title of the excerpt on the title slide, and then the second slide has the directions for each group. So I'm asking them to work as a group to research the historical and cultural context in which this excerpt from the novel is set. And their presentation should cover these three areas. Now, teachers can have each group research all three, or you can give students some agency and allow the group to identify one or two of these topics that they're interested in researching. I've also added some language of my own here, asking the groups to please organize the information to create a compelling multimedia slide presentation. So I want them combining text with images, potentially videos, and then to use their last slide in the presentation slide deck to have a work cited where they're giving credit to the sources where they found their information. Now, the the only tricky part about this particular strategy is that when I go into Google Classroom and I want to share the slide decks with groups to work on them, each group needs their own slide deck. So you'll see it looks like I have three of the same activities here underneath the leadership unit, but really what I have is three different versions or three different slide decks for students to work on. So if I view this particular slide deck, you'll see this is for group 1A. So what I've done is I've created basically a master slide deck, and then I go to File, select Make a Copy, and I'm gonna choose Copy the entire presentation. I'm going to take off the copy of here, and then at the very end, I'm gonna say Group 1D. So I want to make as many copies of the slide deck as I am going to have groups in that class because each group is going to need to be able to customize and edit their own slide deck. So I'm going to click OK so it makes the copy. And then when I go into Google Classroom, I'm going to need to create an assignment for each of the different groups so that they each have their own slide decks they can work on. So how you do that is you go to Create, click Assignment, and then you're gonna give it a title. I'm gonna remind them to follow the directions on slide two. And then I wanna click add and select Google Drive and it should be the most recent slide deck that I've made a copy of. I'm gonna click Add, and then you want students to be able to edit this file deck or this, this particular file, because they're gonna to have to add the text and the images, potentially videos from the research that they're finding. And then before you're done, you're gonna click where it says All Students, and then just click the names of the students that you want to have access to the 1D slide deck. So just those students will be able to customize and edit this particular deck. And then you just click Assign. So it'll look like you have four or five different assignments, but for each one, you'll only have maybe four or five, maybe six students working on that particular slide deck, adding the research they're finding about this particular time period. So hopefully that will give you another strategy to engage your students in collaborative learning and work from home.